In this video, I'll show you around the Off to Class classroom. I'll show you how to use the classroom tools for an interactive experience for your students. In the next videos, I'll show you how to launch live lessons depending on how you teach. But for right now, this will help all teachers get comfortable with the Off to Class classroom. Here's how it works. For this classroom tour, I'm going to show you what things look like from the teacher's perspective, which is on the left, and the student's perspective, which is on the right. This way, you'll see what the classroom looks like from both perspectives. Once your student has joined the classroom, this is what you'll see. And first, I want to give you a tour of the classroom. On the right side is the content. This is the slide, and it's the same thing that your student sees. However, this is the only thing that your student sees. As the teacher, you have other helpful tools that help you teach the lesson. We'll start by looking at the teacher notes. On the left side, you have a pane containing your teacher notes. It contains helpful information, at first with the lesson objective and the can-do. It also keeps track of the time that you've spent on the lesson and on the current slide. The teacher notes has everything you need to teach the lesson successfully. And in the case of gap fills or other questions, it also contains the answers. When the student is logged into the platform, they can't see the teacher notes. However, if you ever want to hide the teacher notes or move them to a separate window, you can simply click these four arrows and it will move the teacher notes to a separate window and now they're in a separate pane. You can also move them back by clicking the four arrows again and it will move them to where they were before. On the bottom we have the navigation. I can move one slide at a time and you can see that anytime I advance a slide it automatically advances on the student side. I can use the double arrows to skip to the end and back to the beginning. And at the bottom, I have a timeline that shows a preview of each slide. So anytime I want to skip directly to a slide, I can do it using this timeline. Now I'd like to show you some of the classroom tools. We'll start with the magnifying glass. The magnifying glass can be used to draw attention to a specific part of the slide. After the magnifying glass, we have tools that can be used by both the teacher and the student. If I click on the pen tool, I see a notification that says the teacher and the student pen are activated, which means now the student can use the pen as well. So as a teacher, I can look at this slide, which says match the sentences with the pictures, and I can model the correct choice. And as you can see, it appears immediately on the student's screen. I can then instruct my student to do number two. And as the student makes choices, they're reflected immediately on my teacher's screen in a different color. So I can give feedback and coach my student. I also have a text box. If I ever want to add text to a slide, I can simply click the text box. And you can see that I can't see it very well right here but I can move it to a place where I can see it, or if I prefer, I can change the color to white, double click it, and type. Then I can move the text box around or resize it so that my student can see it. And as you can see, it appears immediately on my student's screen. This is extremely helpful for something like this with gap fills. I can play the audio which will immediately be heard on my student's side. Hello, hello. My name, my is, name Arena. is Arena. It's playing double out of my speakers because it's playing out of both my teacher side and my student side. However, if both the teacher and the student are wearing headphones, each of you will just hear it once. As the teacher, I control the audio. I can reverse it, press play, and press pause and it's my student's job to listen. Then I can participate with my student in the gap fill. 
For example, I can model the first correct answer. And as you can see, it appears immediately on my student screen. And then I can direct my student to fill in the second blank. And it appears on my teacher side. In this way, the lessons can be extremely interactive. Whereas in the past, lessons were only limited to screen sharing, now the student can be an active participant using the pen tool, the magnifying glass, and the text tool to add another layer to the lessons. One other thing I want to show you is the context menu. I can right click on any word and I can hear it pronounced. Hospital. I can Google Translate it to any language that Google translates. I can do an image search, which will open a new tab, and my student will get a link to the image results that they can click and open in a new tab. And I can also look up the dictionary definition of the word, which will automatically appear on my student screen. Using these tools make lessons much more interesting and engaging for both teacher and the student. There are two more things I want to show you. I can click on the homework to see what the homework will be for the student. This is the homework that's associated with this lesson. I can use this homework to give my student some extra practice during class. I can also use the Canvas feature, and the Canvas is an unlimited whiteboard that I can use to put extra content with the lesson. I'll discuss the canvas in more detail in a later video, but you can see that the canvas is visible for the student as well. Once I close the canvas, the student is taken back to the lesson. The last thing I want to show you are some tools for you as a teacher. I can click on Take Notes, and this will put a note on my student's profile. And this is useful to indicate where we may have stopped in a lesson or if there's some important information that I don't want to forget. I can also click on Give Us Feedback if you'd like to leave a message for off to class about this slide in this lesson. When I'm finished with the class, I simply click Close the Classroom and I will be asked if I would like to assign this student the homework that goes with the lesson. I can assign or unassign. CC anyone on the email, and set a due date. Once I click on Send Homework or Close Classroom Without Sending, the classroom will close. The classroom also closes on the student side of the platform. And then on the student side, they will be able to see their assignment. So here they have the five days and 23 hours to complete their homework assignment and they also can see the lesson here in their recent lessons and summaries. In this way, you can use the Off to Class Classroom to make your lessons with students fun, engaging, and interesting.